Hey. Snuck that one in on you. It's okay. I love you guys. Um, hey, welcome to Never Dull Moment. I'm Greg Blythe, and today, um, wow, we have Kisuke Minaka collaboration with Zahocho Knives. So you guys have probably already seen this knife. It's definitely had some reviews. I'm glad to bring it to you today. Um, Kisuke Minaka is a self-taught blacksmith. What's unique about him in particular is that he's one of those few that hand forges everything. I mean, he is carbon with stainless. He's stainless with stainless. I mean, and so it's really nice to know you're not always buying pre-laminated. And um, so when we open this box, we're going to see not the normal Kiske Minaka line that he's used to making, but something he did with Zahocho knives to their specifications. So this 230 mil 30 millimeter um, Gupto. Oh, show me the box first, babe. Okay. Beautiful. Got a little little card from Fred. We appreciate you. A little note. A little note. Glad to add it to the collection. We thank you, Fred. So Hojo Knives definitely has some really high quality product on there. Especially if you're out there looking for those Shikafusas. They do appear on their website. This particularly tall. Yeah. Um, Guto. Let me go ahead and kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to sit it down for my wife who always encourages me to do that. Mm -hmm. This particular knife is... Um, like we said, it's a little taller than your average knife. And I got some other knives out there for you. It's, a, it's asymmetrical grind, okay? So they actually wanted to do something a little different. The um, This blue number two with a, a Rockwell hardness of 63, it's just beautiful. This is a stainless, clad, stainless cladding over the blue number two. And it also has that... Warakomi cladding, so it's actually clad over the spine as well. Um, so, like I said, definitely self-taught. Uh, love this guy. A city that I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm going to say it wrong, like Satama or Saitama, um, Japan. So, again, uh, just kind of a, a unique place, not like the traditional that we're used to hearing from. So, you'll also notice that the handle is a little bit more narrow. So this octagonal rosewood handle is a little bit more on the narrow side. There are some people doing that. I'm a fan. Okay. It has the Tachini finish. So you, you always remember that it's aesthetically pleasing. It's supposed to give you that... Um, that extra where it helps for food release. But just remember, if the food doesn't make it that far up the knife, it's not going to release any food. Yeah, I, mean, I was like, that's pretty tall. So, so you would need, you know, some, yeah, like the potatoes maybe would benefit from squash. that. Spaghetti squash. stuff. Um, we don't have anything that tall today. I'm going to go ahead real quick and get out two other knives for a comparison. We have a, a standard Tajiro VG10 210, 210 millimeter. Um, and I just want to show you the height difference between that. So this one's a little shorter, but I'm going to get a knife that's a little taller. This is the, um, the Masamoto KS. So even at 240 millimeter, and I'm going to stand them up. Tall. Yeah. We can see that this 230 millimeter, I mean, it is significantly taller. It's hard for me to see like that. I, I understand. I think everyone can kind of get it. I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. as my wife says, you don't have to have that large hand conditioner. <laughs> Anybody can have large hands. Just You don't have to be a big guy. What was that my thing I said? I said big guys with large hands. You're like... Not everybody. You, can, you can have large hands and not be a big guy. Yeah. And everything. So it's definitely going to give you that extra clearance. That is true. There's a that's a that's a lot of clearance. Let's go ahead. And another thing is um because it it's 
obviously the, the Masamoto cast is a little bit more of a laser but I mean it's a thicker spine on this 230 millimeter knife the weight is significant but I tell you what if you're using this for those heavier vegetables that we were talking yeah, about the density is just going to push right through yep okay so the knife has not been used as tr per tradition on the show um so let's just go ahead and get some things out of the way uh this knife is going to be coming up in uh, a special episode i'm excited to bring you guys um it has not made an appearance on this show um so early i had some early videos where i just shot like because it was like christmas kind of a thing but mm -hmm. we never actually did a masamoto ks episode so I'm excited to bring, uh, do I give him a little hint of the title? No, let's go. No. Nope. No, she says, she says, you do not deserve. <laughs> no, that is not what I meant She at said, all. shh, keep them excited on their edge. Thank you, honey. Okay. For grasping how Michelle speaks. Michelle speaketh. Uh, Mrs. Never a dull moment. Okay. Yeah. Her go, favorite. I don't go to the, uh -huh. you're like, no, no. I'm actually really nice. Okay, I'm going to point out something before anybody says something. This has warped slightly. That's why it's spinning. Okay, so it's going to be, I'm going to take it to my friend who made it, Jack, and we're going to soak it and we're going to get it like, but, but somehow or another when I stored it, I let it sit and it just got bent slightly and that's why the middle is touching and the rest is not. Okay. So bad Gregory. Okay, but we will get it worked out. <laughs> Okay, so just so you know, before I get the comments, because I know they're coming. Sorry, I chose the cutting board. My, I didn't know, so. It's okay. Oops. So this never before seen on the show knife. Let's just see what's going on here. Okay. You know the number you like to see? Yep. All right. It's something you guys can comment on, we would like you to comment on. So over time, we had gotten comments on which medium to use, whether it's the individual, like, okay, this is best certified string. Obviously, when I put this in here, it is up to me as a human being to stretch this. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's tiny and it's monofilament and it's, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and tighten that down. So, yes, if you guys watch Hans on his show, he goes through a whole process of a certain weight pulling and dangling and trying to be super consistent. And so I just pull some normal tension. I'm not like trying to stretch it or like whatever. And I tighten it down. I would argue that there's room for variance on that if you want to make that argument. So my wife and I had been a fan of using the individual pieces that we just put on there because they're the made clips. by the company. Yeah. The clips, some people would say like those aren't best certified, right. but they're consistent. You know what I mean? They're, they're, so what so do you the, think? So <laughs> yeah, the company, you know, so it's like, so definitely put your comments on, you know, we're doing the best we can with the budget and the technology we have available. And so that's why we always tell you on the show, this is a tool. It is not the standard. And that's why we try to do more than one snip for you, just to do different parts of the blade and so on. The weight on this is significant. I was going to say, it looks like it's... Yeah. It is significantly... It looks beefy. Heavier. Yeah. Looks like it's a mini sword. Not really. That's pretty consistent. I mean, that's as about as consistent as you get. So we got 200 to 202. Always good to see. Uh, I thought I had a paper towel somewhere. I'll get you one. But, um, it's okay. So we're listening. We always listen. Oh, and that, that was, was really pretty. It was, <laughs> what was it? it was pretty. Honestly, that's just clean. Wants to draw. Well, I'm just, it's nice that it did that. Holy Arts. mackerel. I mean, dang. Arts and crafts with Gregory. Okay, he's happy. I mean, yeah, if it does that, I'm happy. Well, we um, the, the sheer weight of this thing. I'm pretty sure I won't use that one. Yeah. Is significant. It is not. I need to cut a pumpkin or something. I mean, I paper know. towel ready. 
Boy, it just needed it's, a minute. It just needed like a second. I would say that maybe where I was on the blade, it just... Yeah. See what I'm saying? It's like yeah. once it gets started, maybe into a different part. Different part of the blade was a little better. Okay. Well, I'm right. That's what we get for 200. Okay. Wow. That apple's just going to be like nothing. I'm just saying, this is nice. But, yeah. You know I'm making paper, right? It's your food machete. You know I'm making paper. Who didn't know he was making paper, guys? Seriously. Folks, this is what he does. Oh my gosh. It's not even a sturdy apple. Y'all, this is actually a... It's actually a kind of soft apple. So, I guess that would help. I don't know. No, because the skin wouldn't be biting. You would have a hard time with the skin. So, that's why I thought it would be a little more difficult. You can tell that the weight and the density of the knife just help push through it. This thing, if, I'll tell you what, this flat out, my, my I'm going to tell you. What you this is this? beef. I mean, this knife is beef. If you held the Masamoto cast, they are not even close. This is like that skinny friend who needs a meal. And this is like the football player. This thing oh, is, Greg. this is beef. Nice. You can already see the reaction. My wife was just going in there. Listen, if you guys aren't used to carbon steel and you don't know that it's going to oxidize, this is going to oxidize. So if you're, the stainless steel part is going to be pretty and everything, but you're going to get a patina on the carbon steel part. Polished, immaculate. The feeling of the handle is really great. I'm a fan. Wow, the sheer weight of this. I mean, slicing a roast, the prime rib. I mean, just... I love it. This is... This is the thing. I'll get my wife using this. She doesn't... It's stainless on the outside. I think that'll make her no. less... Of, you know, because you're just like, I don't want it to oxidize on the outside and cause a problem. But blue number two, the blue steels that were like really soaked in oil, cloned down, have a little extra additive. They, they patina like a little slower. Maybe we can convince her to finally use some carbon steel. Absolutely. You know what? I'm way more in love with this knife than I thought I would be. Definitely, if you want to grab one, um, obviously it's on Zohocho. I was not given this knife. This knife is paid for. I want you guys to know that. Um, yep. Yeah, no, I was not compensated. <laughs> I was not compensated for the purchase of this knife. Um, so, glad to have it in the edition. Appreciate you guys, as always, checking us out. Friday nights at 8 o'clock. That was definitely not a dull moment. Thank you, guys. God bless.